The React View Transitions component spoken about at React Conf 2025 makes it so much easier to animate a component using the browser's native View Transitions API on top of a React transition, which is much better than using a custom solution. But does this mean you no longer need to use React Router's view transition or the next view transition component? And also, how did Jack Harrington make a video about this seven months ago? Let's get into it. And before we do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The view transitions component was actually added to React much earlier this year, and there's even a blog post about it that was written in March. But as of now, you can only get access to it in React Canary. So the API might change in the future. Let's take a look at how it works. Here is a basic blog project using Bun and React and clicking on this button shows all the blog posts and we can view individual posts by clicking on read more. Let's update this so it animates with a transition. Let's first make sure we're using Canary versions of React and React DOM. Notice there's no Canary for the types. We'll get back to that later. And now on our blog index page, let's scroll down to this line where the blog posts are being shown and we can wrap this whole component in a view transition one, making sure to add a closing tag. Then we'll import the view transition component. Notice we get an error here and that's because we don't have the right types, but trust me, this is going to work. Now, if we refresh this page, we should see that not much has changed. This is because we have to update this onClick event handler to use the start transition function. So React coordinates its own transition system with the browser's view transition API. If you don't know anything about transitions, they allow you to make low priority non-blocking updates in React using cooperative scheduling in the React Fibers architecture. Let me know in the comments if you want to know more about transitions. Notice here I've just imported start transition instead of getting it from the use transition hook. This is because I don't need the is pending variable, but if you want to use it, you can go ahead and use the use transition hook. Now back in our project, if I click on this button, you can see the posts animate in and also animate out. It's a lot easier to see if I zoom out. This whole thing works by React, looking for view transition components during the commit phase after a render, and then calls document start view transition with the related transition types. But as nice as this fade animation is, we can do a bit better. The view transition component gives us five props that we can use to customize the animation or we can use four different callbacks. So if we grab this animation from animate.css, add it to our code, and then add them to view transition pseudo elements, we can then add the default prop with the name of our animation, which doesn't seem to work in Bun at the moment. So we'll have to use something else. And now we've changed the default animation. If we wanted to animate going to a blog post, we could add the view transition component to the index and the page we want to animate to, as well as adding a start transition function to the logic that changes the pages. And now we can see our fade animation when we click on a blog post. But we could also use the name prop on a view transition component, which treats elements as the same between transitions, creating a smooth animation. Without adding a custom name, React gives each element a unique name automatically. The view transition component can also be used to animate suspense and can even be used inside the suspense fallback prop. Not to mention it's progressively enhanced, meaning your app will still work for browsers that don't support view transitions. And that's a quick overview of the React view transitions component. It took a while to get to this stage, but I'm glad we're one step closer to it being production ready. But what if you already have view transitions in your application via React Router or Next.js? Should you switch? Well, not straight away. If you're building a new component or a new app altogether, then it makes sense to use the React built-in view transitions component. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the component in the comments. Again, don't forget to subscribe and until next time, happy coding.